What's up guys, easy is everything where everything is easy and today I'm going to teach you how you can install your own custom fonts on a Mac. Alright, so um, what you need to do is first you need to uh, browse the web for some fonts that you would like to use and some of them, one of the best websites that I've found was, uh, I think it was Default, sorry about that, F-O-N-T, Default.com. No, no, no. D A F O N T dot com. That's right. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So this is a website with like millions and millions of fonts, and these are just like the best ones. Or like these are the last font fonts added. You have little uh, categories here uh, with categories inside those categories, <laughs> uh, and you can just click on one, and you can get some. Uh, weird fonts. This is just aliens, but uh, let's go into sci-fi and see what they have. Uh, I'm just gonna randomly download one uh, just to show you what you're gonna do is, uh, for example, this one's Earth Kid. Apparently you just click download over here and you get this little folder. Sometimes you get a folder. Let's see if I can try to get just a regular. Uh, okay, well, anyway, I'll just use both of them. Uh, just show, oh crap. <laughs> Just show it in Finder and then open up the folder. And in this case, it comes with an image. I don't know why people do that. No one looks at them. Then you'll see this uh, font.ttf. You're just going to double click on that. Your font book will open up here. And where is it? Uh, let me see if I can. All right, there it is. Okay, so after you double click on it, you should get something that looks like this. I'll just show you what the font looks like and then just click install font and that's it. Then you'll actually have the font in your directory. Um, so yeah. Uh, and then sometimes it will just like, uh, let me remove this. Sometimes it will only be the, uh, wow, you see this one has like a lot. This one has like four of them and bunch of stuff, but wow, probably not going to install this. <laughs> Sometimes it'll just be the TTF file. I'm going to see if I can actually find one that is. Here we go. Okay, so sometimes they're just going to be the TTF. This one you can just double click on. You don't have to open it up in Finder, and then you can just install the font that way. Alright, uh, so that's about it, guys. That's how you can install your own fonts, custom fonts, uh, from websites and onto your computer. So thanks for watching and remember, everything is easy.